Today we're visiting the Central Maine Comprehensive Cancer Treatment Program here at Central Maine Medical Center. We're going to meet with a variety of doctors and other treatment specialists and we're going to talk about prevention and screening. We're going to talk about diagnostics and treatment. We're going to talk about research and we're going to show how all of that can be done here in Lewiston, Maine, very close to home. I hope you enjoy this show. I know you will learn a great deal about this great resource in our communities. We're here at the CMMC Cancer Center. We're here with Drs. Rausch, Caldwell, and Erickson. Thanks for joining us, doctors. Uh, your specialty is medical oncology. Tell me what medical oncology is. Well, medical oncology and also what we do is hematology is basically the uh, diagnosis and treatment of cancer mm -hmm. and also blood-related diseases. What do you do to diagnose cancer in the first place? Well, diagnosis, sometimes we'll do the diagnosis. Sometimes the diagnosis is done by a surgeon mm -hmm. or another professional before we see the patient. And what our job would be then is to stage, is to see once we know what kind of cancer, how far along it is, where exactly it's gone to. Mm -hmm. So we're here in the infusion center. What's an infusion center? The infusion center is where we give chemotherapy, we give medications, infusions, and we also do other procedures here, uh, bone marrows, and likewise, if somebody needs blood taking off, it's done here at the infusion center also. Um, it's open so our patients are, of course, are right next to our office, so we, we have quick access for this. and and it's a very convenient place for our patients to get the treatment. It's interesting because I ran into some patients this morning who came in here in the middle of a snowstorm as we're taping this, and they're here and you're open, and they looked very comfortable as they were here. We hope they're comfortable when they're getting therapy. You know, therapies have changed a lot, and the, uh, the medications we use to help make the, the, the chemotherapy more tolerable are, are much better in most people don't have any discomfort or pain. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you've adopted a team approach to cancer treatment here. What's the team approach and why is that important? Well, cancer is a very complex disease. Cancer patients are very complex patients. As Dr. Caldwell alluded, uh, cancer treatments are rapidly changing. They're always changing. So, we're medical oncologists. We deal with IV and sometimes chemotherapy and pills by mouth. But when you're dealing and when you're treating somebody with cancer, you have to worry about the treatments, side effects related to the treatments, and seemingly other issues and side effects that might not even be related to the treatments. So because of that, we, it requires constant communication, communication between ourselves, communication with other doctors who treat cancer, like the radiation doctors and surgeons. And in order to do that, our team approach involves pretty much weekly meetings with specialists and surgeons regarding lung surgeons and specialists, breast surgeons, abdomen surgeons, and what we end up doing is discussing every case individually and running it by all the experts. Beyond that, we have a lot of support staff, in the sense other people who have been trained to help with patients who have cancer, social workers, our nurses here in the infusion clinic, which are specially trained, and a myriad of administrative staff all of which are trained and have chosen to deal with cancer patients. And there is constant communication, as well as with the patient's regular doctor as well. We're at the center at, in Lewiston, which is the main campus of Central Maine Medical Center. But you don't just provide treatment here. You're in Rumford, and you're in Brunswick, um, uh, in Bridgeton. Why is that? Well, I travel to Rumford every week. I see patients on Tuesdays at the Rumford Hospital, and likewise we have clinics that operate, as you mentioned, at Parkview um, and at Bridgeton um, for more days a week. And, and the purpose for that is to try to keep patients closer to home in a place that can be more comfortable for them and more convenient uh, and still provide the same high level of care that we can provide. Um, when patients are not feeling well to begin with, to have to contemplate driving an hour to come get their treatment can really add an extra level of difficulty, especially on a day like today when the weather's bad. And not only that, many of them may rely on their family for transportation. Uh, so there's a, you know, an issue with the family in terms of the time required to do that and the expense. 
Um, and we've found that we can do 90% of what we need to do in settings that are closer to home. And for the things that do need to come to Lewiston, the transition is very smooth uh, because we share a record. You're sharing predominantly almost all of the same providers and the communication is, is seamless. So it, it works really well. We've been talking about treatment, but you also do cancer research. I didn't know that. Well, clinical trials are very important in oncology because we're trying to get better at what we do. And we really get that through clinical trials. Um, many years ago, the National Cancer Institute felt that, that realized many, most patients receive their care in a community setting and therefore made it available to the communities to have clinical trials available. As a result, we participate in many clinical trials, and which are constantly opening and some that are closing, but uh, trying to find the best way to treat cancer. And it's a great opportunity for our patients. It helps a lot of times we'll have new medications that are available that are coming up and look very promising. And it's uh, certainly something that I think all of us like to be involved with. And it's great for our patients. It's good for your patients, but good for the doctors too, because it gets you to open up your minds to, to broader it Keeps spectrum. us up with everything. The, think about cancer, and I think about cancer. You know, I've had some in the family. It's the, des the diagnosis of cancer is absolutely devastating, not only to the patient, to it, but to the family. Um, how do you, what do you do to help keep people deal with that, keep their spirits up? Well, I think the important thing to realize in treating patients with cancer is many patients can be cured of their cancer, and when that's possible, of course, we're always focusing on the best possible outcomes and providing the best treatment and kind of trying to be little cheerleaders getting them through it because sometimes it can can be difficult and to assist with that of course in addition to what we're doing when we meet with patients we have the nursing staff who is superb we have the Dempsey Center and everything they do uh, to help uh, provide support and and our social worker but for patients who can't be cured even if we're not trying to cure the cancer there's always something to be hopeful for you know you just you just have to recognize what it is we're trying trying to hope for and support them as best as possible uh, in maintaining the highest quality of life that they can for the time that they have. You talked about cancer being curable. If er, cancer is detected early, lots of cancers are, are curable. Um, how important is it for people who are watching this to know about cancer screenings and what screening should they be looking for? Well, prevention is key. Mm -hmm. I'd say the, the most important thing you've done right for cancer treatment. As a general rule of thumb, though not always the case, cancers that are caught early are the easiest to treat and the easiest to cure. As they grow, they become harder to treat and harder to cure. And then once they spread or metastasize, again, as a rule of thumb, they're not curable, though they still are treatable. Mm -hmm. So any screening test that is ordered by your primary doctor or your primary OBGYN has been studied and has been basically shown to save lives in large studies. They include colonoscopy, mammograms, and even your general physical exam, you know, well exam annually or however, however often your primary doctor wants to see you. So based on that, again, screening and keeping up with that, though it may be tedious sometimes, is, is it, key. It's very important. Doctors, thank you very much. I've learned a great deal. I know our viewers have. We'll be right back to learn more about the cancer treatment at Central Maine Medical Center.